Good morning sa lahat ng criminology students sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, pati na sa lahat ng nagre-review ngayon for the upcoming uh, criminology licensure examination, pati na sa criminology enthusiast at sa lahat ng mga fingerprint examiners, magandang ubaga po sa inyo. This is under episode 1, part 2. We will be talking about ridge tracing and ridge scouting. We are still on fingerprint identification. I purposely, I purposely separate this uh, topic from other episodes, considering that uh, ridge tracing and ridge counting are very significant po sa fingerprint classification. Okay, sa fingerprint classification. Ito po ang requirement na dapat nating malaman muna before we can effectively uh, get the correct computation in fingerprint classification. This will just be very quick um, uh, cadets or criminology students. So I hope you will bear with me as we study on ridge tracing and ridge counting. To, without further ado, I would like to go directly to the topic which is ridge tracing. Ang una po nating malaman or ilagay sa isip natin is that ang ridge tracing is only used for world families or world patterns. Ano ba yung world patterns? I'm referring to plain world, central pocket loop world, double loop world, and accidental world. Apat lang po yan. Okay? Ang ridge counting, on the other hand, is specific only for loop patterns. Ano ba yung loop patterns natin? Yung loop patterns natin, yung radial at saka yung ulnar loop. Sir, ang tanong, ano pong nangyari sa plain arch at saka yung tinted arch? Will they undergo ridge tracing or ridge counting? The answer is no. There is no ridge tracing, there is no ridge counting for the arch family. They will remain as it is. Okay? Yung counting natin for loops, or tracing natin for walls, yun lang ang dapat natin i-consider. Now, ridge tracing. Anong gagawin natin sa ridge tracing? From the word trace, you will locate, alright? You will locate the ridge that emanates or originates from the lower side of the left delta towards the right delta. Ibig sabihin po, in ridge tracing, ang dapat i-consider mo una is the left delta. Kasi yung tracing natin is mag-start sa left delta. Now, in tracing the ridge, the very first thing to do is to locate the two deltas. Again, ang world pattern po, may dalawang deltas yan. Ano ba yung delta? Yung outer terminus based on episode 1, part 1 discussion. Now, ang sa loop, isa lang yung, isa lang yung delta natin. Unlike in the world, na dalawa yung delta. So, the first thing that you will do in ridge tracing, locate. Locate the two deltas. Then, by using a pencil or a red ball pen, you start your trace in the left delta. Follow the ridge where it runs and end your trace on the nearest or opposite part of the right delta. Ano gagawin natin? I-trace mo lang yung ridge, tapos mag-stop ka opposite or below or near the right delta. Then you count the number of ridges that touch or cross the imaginary line drawn between the trace ridge and the right delta where you stop. Then the ridge can be inner, outer, or mid. Inner, pag nag-stop ka in front sa right delta. Tapos when you, when you connect, the point where you stop and the right delta, mayroong at least three ridges that cross the imaginary line. Inner po yan. Maging outer yan, pag nag-stop ka, pag trace mo, nag-stop ka below the right delta. Below. From the word outside, below the right delta. Tapos, you connect the point where you stop and the right delta and you see at least three ridges that cross the imaginary line. Pag in front or below the right delta tapos gumawa ka ng imaginary line pero hindi nakaabot ng 3 2 lang 2 2, 1 or 0 uh, ridges that cross the imaginary line ano mangyari? ang ridge trace niya ay tinatawag natin na 
tinatawag natin na, na meat. Now, I want you to understand that in tracing, we have rules that we have to follow. Number one, never begin your trace on the type lines. It should be on the delta. Delta ha, hindi yung type lines. Delta ka mag-trace. Now, pag nag-bifurcate yung delta, ano ba yung bifurcation? One ridge forks into two branches. So, ano mangyari dyan? Dapat sa outside branch ka mag-continue sa tracing. Not the inside branch ha. Yung two branches, yung inner branch, saka yung outside branch. Sa outside branch ka mag-trace. This came out in the board exam. Dapat sa outside ka na branch mag-continue sa tracing. Rule number two, if the trace ridge abruptly ends, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng abruptly ends? Meaning na terminate. Drop down the trace and continue on the lower ridge. Para maintindihan natin, my, I think I have uh, three samples, examples. Alright? Now, what you can see on your screen is a plain world. It's a world pattern. Okay? So, anong, anong sabi ko kanina? The tracing should start first on the right delta. Never, never uh, commence your trace on the type lines, but in the right delta. I don't know, left delta rather, left delta, delta, I'm sorry. It's left delta. Left delta going to the right delta. Now, yung LD na makikita nyo sa screen, ibig sabihin dyan, left delta. Yung TL, that signifies type lines. Yung RD, that signifies right delta. So, we will do tracing. Yung nakikita nyo na broken lines, tapos may direction dyan, Jan po or yan po ang ibig sabihin dyan is where you continue the tracing. So if you will trace the left delta, mag, mag start po tayo sa point of forking. Trace natin, makikita nyo yan. At point A, nag bifurcate po yung, yung ridge. My inner branch tsaka yung outer branch. Again, we have to follow the rule. Dapat i-continue mo yung training sa tracing sa outside branch until you will reach the opposite or lower or below the right delta. But in this case, yung ridge, yung outside ridge niya, nag-stop, makastop tayo in front of the right delta. Tapos we make an imaginary line here. From the right delta to the left delta. Pagawa natin ng imaginary line, we will count the number of ridges that cross or touches the imaginary line. Count natin, 1, 2, and 3. So what you can see are 3 ridges that cross or uh, touches the imaginary line drawn between the right delta and from the ridge where you stop the tracing. So ano yung trace natin? Ang trace natin ay tinatawag na inner. Why? Because you stop in front with three ridges crossing the imaginary line. Pero tingnan natin yung ano. Tingnan natin yung second example. Yung trace natin, yung pag-trace natin again, di ba? Yung left delta, LD. Pag-trace natin, nag-stop tayo below the, below the right delta. And we make an imaginary line from the right delta to the point where we stop. Ang nangyari po dyan, we have three counts, three ridges that cross the imaginary line. Sir, ang makikita namin, dalawa lang. Tatlo po yan ang count dyan. Why? Because the imaginary line passes the point of forking. Okay, di ba? May bifurcation dyan. It passes from the point of forking. In that case, yung count dyan, kasi nasa point of forking, 2 counts yan. So, 2 plus 1, naging 3. So, below the right delta, ibig sabihin yan, hindi siya matawag na inner, but rather outer. Why? Bakit outer? Kasi nasa ilalim ng right delta, hindi sa opposite. Now, last example natin. Pag ang left delta terminates example yung ridge dot yung ridge dot hindi yan nagcontinue so what you can see it's a ridge dot yung left delta natin so basically you will drop down pag drop down mo may nakikita na ridge continue ka ng tracing diyan may arrow okay may arrow diyan tapos sa unahan nagterminate uli yung yung ridge nagridge ending so anong gagawin mo again drop down ka uli 
Pag drop down mo, continue the tracing until you will stop below or opposite the right delta. But in this case, nag-stop po tayo below the right delta. And when you know, as you notice, wala pong ridges na nag-cross or nag-touch ng imaginary line. So ano ba yung tracing natin? Anong tawag? Again, yung tawag natin is meet. Bakit, bakit meet? Kasi pag 2, 1, or 0, yung ridges that cross the imaginary line, ang tracing po natin ay tinatawag na meet. Okay? That's how simple ridge tracing is being done. Now, last is the ridge counting. Napaka-easy po ang ridge counting, I tell you. Ang gawin mo lang, you take a look on the delta. We only have one delta for loop. And the core. You connect the core by means of an imaginary line to the delta. And you count the number of fridges that cross or touch the imaginary line. That's how you will make ridge counting. Now, sa counting natin, may simple rules that we have to follow. For example, again, kanina na-mention ko na, na if the imaginary line crosses the point of forking, ang count niya is 2 points. Okay? If it crosses the branches, the count is again 2 points. If it only crosses one branch, the count is 1 point. For example, that's what you can see on your screen. Yung 2 counts niya sa point of forking, yung 2 counts niya if it passes on the 2 branches. Pero pag nakapass siya sa single ridge lang, or sa single branch lang, then the count is only, is only 1. Same with trifurcation cadets, makikita nyo. Yung count niya, yung 1, pag sa point of forking, 3 counts po yan. Pag sa 3 branches, 3 counts again. Okay? Same with, uh, same principle with uh, lake or enclosure. Pag sa single range 1, point of forking, 2. 2 branches, 2 ang counts. Point of forking again is 2, uh, two counts. But for uh, island, you only have one count because it only consists of one ridge. Yung ridge that, it's only one and ridge ending is also one. Okay? That's how ridge counting shall be done. Maintindihan natin, naglagay ako dito ng one example lang ulit because this is just very easy. So in, the, in, in your screen right now, you can see a loop pattern. So all you have to do again is to locate the core, you can see the delta, you count the number of ridges that cross or passes the imaginary line. You count 1, 2. How much is the ridge count? 2. So basically, ridge count natin is 2. So that's how easy ridge counting and ridge tracing is being done. I, 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 I intend to have this be separated from other episodes because this is a very good requirement that we have to learn uh, uh, before we study about fingerprint classification i hope i hope i was able to uh was able to add knowledge uh, or learning on your part in as far as fingerprint identification is concerned thank you so much cadets god bless you and stay safe